Hey guys, how's it going? VZHD here and today I'm back with another FIFA 17 career mode video and today I've put in Vinicius Jr, the next Neymar, the new Brazilian wonder kid to explode onto the scene in the Brazilian Serie A and accordingly to rumours he has agreed a deal to join Real Madrid in the summer when he turns 18 next year. And I've seen, if, if we put him into the Real Madrid team, how is he going to perform? As you can see, 38 million pounds or 45 million euros they've spent on this kid. He is 16 in real life and he's turning 17 in July. So big, big prospects here. As you can see, some of those stats in the light greens, some of them in the reds, but they are going to develop over the course of these seasons. He is right into the first 11. I've put him there, left winger. He's a little quick, little left winger. He's got some four-star skill moves, three-star weak foot. Um, five foot eight is his real height in real life. And he is Brazilian. And they are calling him the next Neymar. As you can see there, he's played for the under-15s, under-17s national team. And he's won two little trophies there, as you can see. And he does um, turn 17 in July. So we're starting to see a few more um, players born in 2000 coming into the game, um, not just FIFA, in the world, um, coming into making their stance on world football. And it's becoming crazy, as you guys saw with my Ryan Sessegnon video. But at the end of the first season, he's grown by a whopping five. Even though he only played 17 games, he scored one goal, got two assists for him. But he's had a good debut season. He's announced himself... Hopefully you can build on this, as you can see many many stats are growing at the end of season 1 and they're going to continue to grow I bet you. And as you can see some dark greens starting to develop for Vinicius Jr. And as I'm recording this, Vinicius Jr. himself has made his debut for Flamengo senior team. As you can see there, very very good stuff as he's already worth 16.5 million in the game. And um, here is he at the start of the season two. He got onto an 80 from just that little um, turning 18 or 19. He's um, got himself a plus one at the start of season two. We're going to see what he turns out in the end of season two. As you can see, Real Madrid did win the title that season and he has gone a plus two. Not as much overall in stats, but he has gone very, very good in his games as he's gone 32 games, very good game time. He's bagged himself 15 goals and he's got 7 assists with 10 clean sheets, an average rating of 7.30. That's pretty, pretty good stats for a 19-year-old. And he surely cemented his spot into that Real Madrid starting 11th. So great um, second season there, much better than the first one. But it should be getting better and better as you can see some stats growing there. Acceleration, sprint speed, plus 9 for crossing. So he is developing into a great winger and a 34 million value there for Vinicius Jr. Here he is at the start of Season 3. As you can see he's 83 rated um, from I think because his birthday's in July, the, the switch from the season. Um, he just gets an overall boost, I don't know, just FIFA automatically does it, it's not because of training or anything, so um, at the end of Season 3, he went up by 4, uh, more than the previous season, but in the stats in his game, um, it wasn't really reflective of last season, sort of took it a notch down, but he did grow plus 4 overall, as you can see there. He has gone very well in his stats this season, gone up in all the technical stats, as you like to see in these kinds of players, all the physical stats, some mental, and that's just a well-rounded season, just didn't show himself in the goals in the third season. And with a 86 uh, rating there, we're trying to get him to be the next Neymar, so uh, I was thinking if we're going to do this in the shortest amount of seasons possible, looking at Neymar right now, he's 95 rated in this career mode save if we're gonna make him be the next Neymar I was thinking you know we're not gonna get to 95 by doing no training just simulating so I've decided um, in order to rival Neymar and in order to live up to his name of the next Neymar Vinicius Jr um, we're gonna put him through a bit of a rigorous training session um, as much as I can um, just throughout the season not not much I'm still gonna simulate through the season but as you can see I've put him on all of the hard training sessions there trying to get him um, to the maximum potential and as you can see he has been called up to the Brazilian squad for the Copa America I think 
and he's going to be playing in that international tournament going to show himself hopefully and get some more goals for him and as you can see Brazil has prospered over Argentina in the Copa America final um, poor Lionel Messi still hasn't got himself an international trophy but Vinicius Junior did indeed score the winning goal in that game so He's making himself known on the club stage and the international stage, Mr. Vinicius Jr. As you can see at the end of the fourth season, he is 89 rated with a plus two um, overall to his name. And as you can see, those stats, so many games played, 48 games played, 19 goals and 11 assists. Such a great season for Vinicius Jr. there with a 7.10 match rating he's got 14 goals and 10 assists in La Liga which is mind-blowing and as you can see um, he hasn't gone up in all his physical or technical stats but he's still gone up in the very very important as you can see some very uh, good technical stats going into the 90s um, very dark green stats is what you want to see on these types of players and again he's only 21 and worth a whopping 82 million pounds on the game and we are starting the final fifth season to see if uh, Vinicius Jr. can reach that 90 plus potential. As you can see, he's cracked the 90s at only 21 years of age. Um, 22, in fact. And uh, <laughs> we can see if he gets to that Neymar level. But as you can see there, we're in the final of the um, Copa de España, I think it is, <laughs> against Valencia. So we might sim that game, see how the final goes. And as you can see, 92 rated for the man. And we're just making some quick changes here to the team. Um, I did make a few signings so we didn't um, get fired like in the Fulham <laughs> Ryan Sessing Young video. So I've attempted to stay and we're just going to simulate this Copa de España. Yes, it is. Copa de España final against Valencia. Um, we've put out a full strength team. So hopefully, um, Venetius does get a goal with um, 33 minutes on. We'll see if he can keep this final going. Have a last few minutes going on now and nothing happened in that game. No yellow cards, no injuries, nothing. Just a Vinicius Junior banger. And he did win the cup for Real Madrid. And here we have it. The final squad report for Vinicius Junior in Real Madrid. And he does get up to that 93 overall rating with a plus 4 overall in that season. And what a final season he did have with 58 games played. 34 whopping goals and 11 assists on the board. What a season he'd had with 7.5 average rating. Stats are still going up by the minute. He's got a few 99 stats now with finishing and crossing both 99, short passing 99, long passing 99, ball control, dribbling all in the mid 90s. Acceleration is rapid. And what a season, 23 goals and 10 assists in La Liga. And he has had a whopping final season there. And Mr. Vinicius Jr. himself has proven himself to the world in Real Madrid at only 16, at the ripe old age of 16 years old. He's going to become one of the world's greatest, hopefully, and at least FIFA says that. And my simulation did, of course, say that with his overall of 93. He's going to probably become one of the best players in the world, hopefully, for Brazil and become that next Neymar. If you guys did enjoy the video, please smack a like on the video. Subscribe for more experiments, FIFA 17 content in general. Follow me on Twitter for more updates on the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.